what's up guys sp architects here today i'm going to show you how to model something like this i think it's a public building or something like that but it's got a very nice form between the ceiling and the floor actually a kind of lofted columns it has so i'm going to show you how to model something like that in archicad but before beginning the tutorial i would just like to ask you to like this tutorial is going to help this channel with youtube algorithms and do not forget to subscribe because i'm gonna make similar tutorials like this all right let's get into the tutorial i'm just going to go to shell tool to model an organic shape and a lofted shape something like this so if we click the shell tool we are going to see modeling options here primarily i will change the structure type to simple because we don't need any layer in our model because this is a mass building this is going to be a sketch building and for the geometry method we have ruled here by the way construction method part was changed so we are going to use this detailed one and this icon will determine the between the first and second profile shading style with that i prefer second option with that is going to be a smoother transition between the first and second profile now we are in the floor plan and in the floor plan first we model the first profile after that we will determine an extrusion and model the second part so if i click somewhere here we start with a simple line a straight line but i want this to be a curve so in order to change this one into a curve unfortunately for the first line we cannot use the this second previous segment so we go with the, this arc with defined tangent let's click that and we have a degree here angle here i prefer a low angle value for this maybe something like this and if we click the second time we get a curve here and now we can continue with this segment but this time we go up something like this it says distance is 3 meter let's just increase that 50 meters let's click ok just be careful here we start with the starting point we will click once here and after that starting to modeling the second profile just like we did before and continue with this segment and click double and there we go now we go to the 3d window and we have this if you want to increase the strength of the curve you can always click the shell and change their reference lines since we are working with a sketch building i prefer using paint white material all right but this one looking to z direction we are going to rotate this to y direction what we are going to do we are going to right click move and rotate we are just going to click somewhere here and you don't release the mouse move your mouse through the x direction and now we click starting angle and finish angle to z direction now it's vertical and ready to use if you wouldn't do this you can go to the elevations for instance we can see this from the east elevation let's go back and let's go to the east elevation now we can rotate this from this angle very easily I think this is easier than previous step.
Now I'm going to go to South Elevation and change this reference line to It's so prominent, I'm just going to reduce its strength. Just like that. Now, let's increase its thickness from this box. 2 meters maybe. And duplicate this part. to ground floor. For this sketch, this part will be thicker and this part will be thinner. And I'm gonna make this mirror from the middle. I have a shortcut. You can go to the move and use this mirror tool. There we go. Maybe we can give more space between the first and second mass. Anyway, let's continue. As you can see here, we have a curved surface here. I want this to be straight, flat. Also here, it's a curved surface. I want this to be a flat surface too. We have two options here to fix that. First, we can use solid element operations. Second, we can use right click create hole in shell and the third option is turning them into morph doing some modeling i prefer for this tutorial the second method i'm gonna increase this thickness and from this angle i'm going to create hole in shell but i'm gonna try in the elevation not the 3d window I think it's south elevation. Yeah. Let's click the flip. There we go. Let's just right click it and click the create hole in shell. I'm gonna hit the shift to make a straight line and close the shape. After that, you can fix the shape you created. Let's make the same for the second part. And I'm gonna increase the thickness. There we go. Now let's create some columns. Our columns will look like faces. For that reason, we are going to use shell tool again, but this time we are going to use revolt method. We are using the detailed construction method and we go to the ground floor. But in the ground floor, we cannot see the height for the what we are going to create for the column. We can measure it up from the elevation. Let's hit the app. Click here and click here. It's nearly around 650. We click the first node of the profile polygon, tangent, and create a curve. Oops, something wrong. We have forgotten to click the second revolve again. Something like this. Click once more and we click the revolt shell center point. We can change it later. 
Of course, angle will be 360 and classic Greek. Okay. If you don't like the shape, you can always click that and fix that. There we go. Now let's go to the south elevation. Open with current view settings. But I think we should go to east elevation. Yeah, okay, east elevation. And rotate. And place to its place where it needs to be. And you can check it in the ground floor, of course. There we go. There we go. We need more height here. Just like that. Let's go back to the ground floor. And duplicate. Just like this. But it's very straightforward. If you want to be crazy. You can rotate this one. You can just stretch your columns as you want. But you cannot do this with shell tool. In order to achieve that, we are going to turn this into a morph. Let's click OK. And once we have this, if we click any point of our morph, we will see the bug stretch. Now we can stretch our model. Let's click here and click the bug stretch. And click the skew. Just like that. Once we have this, we are going to duplicate it from the ground floor and rotate. That seems strange, they are looking the same direction. I want to change this column's looking direction. Select on floor plan. And rotate. There we go. If you want to make a clean intersection between the between the models, you can just select all of your columns, right click and connect solid element operation. These are going to be targets. This is going to be operator and we can use subtraction and let's make the same for the top part. Targets operator subtraction once we have this we can make this morph shape by right clicking again convert selection to morph now we no need to use solid element operation again for the last step you can paint those in order to paint them you can select them and you can change the surface type something yellow 
let's try to change into the top surface or bottom surface let's try using painting tool surface painter input your yellow once we click that we click the add the project and now we can use that with this painting mode yeah it's better now we have our shape and as you can see this is what we have in the end i think it looks really good you can create some real nice views of this thing and i think this was kind of a cool exercise if you want to get this project file you can actually find it on my patreon page i'm going to be including a link to my patreon page below in this video in the description with there you can find all of my art project files Thanks for watching, have a nice day.